Alrighty then, good afternoon once again everybody, uh, Silver Dragon here, coming at you with some more Stone Hearth. Gonna be continuing where we last left off here, as uh, someone did request that I make another one here. Pretty much after the other one, so I was like, ah, why the hell not, you know, I got a bit of time, let's, a bit of extra time, let's, let's go ahead and just chuck another one up there. So, this one will be going up uh, immediately after the last one, uh, well, as soon as I can. Uh, followed by, as usual, the two Planet Explorers, which uh, were actually pretty good. I'm hoping to uh, finish that up here soon, as it is releasing uh, completely in the next, like, what, six days? So, yeah. Definitely going to want to get on that. Ah, the weave! Uh, so, unfortunately, last time we lost a lot of guys. Well, by a lot, I mean, like, three. We lost, like, three villagers, and unfortunately, our military took a huge hit. Uh, experience-wise, we have been, uh, uh, doing our best to beef up our military. And, of course, this happened. I finally got so sick and tired with the plaza being an absolute pain in my ass that I was like, you know what? To hell with it. I'm just gonna demolish the whole thing, say, screw it all, and just redo it. Which is actually what I'm going to do with this as well, because this, this thing is just not building. It's just not building, so I'm going to remove the whole building. This whole thing is getting scrapped and redone. I wish I could... I really, really wish I could get rid of this. This Valor of Sid Memorial. It's rather annoying, but what can you do? Now, let me actually design... My own design. Thank you very much. Alright. I want to put it right next to this guy. Hoping it's the same kind. Looks like it. So it should be. Let me re-angle myself here. Come on, a little bit more forward. A little more forward. Good man. Alright, so this is going to be a building right just by itself. Finished. Build it. Start building. So that's going to be a building just by itself. That'll be fine. Alright. Now let's go ahead and start a brand new building. And I think I'm actually going to expand this one a bit more so we can have a few more beds in this thing. Or should I just keep it as is with like two on each side? Hmm. Yeah, but I'll expand it a bit more this way so that we can actually even it out a bit more. Let's do a stone foundation. Let's actually do a redstone foundation this time around. We did have a little bit of space issues for this one, so let's expand it back one and this way too. Or do I need to, yeah, let's go like this. Let's go with this. That'll do fine. Even though this one probably isn't even anymore now, thanks to that. We'll go like this, and then I can have a have the door in between. So thirteen on that side. Perfect. All right. Let's get some walls. Let's actually see if we can get some brick walls. Why don't we? Uh, no. No! Bad thing, what are you doing? Stop it! Let me erase these. That might do her. Let's try again. Better! I should probably use something I have, material I have though, to be honest. Let's make it a regal blue stone with, uh, let's use like a red stone column then. That'll look nice. I mean, it'll look completely awkward, but hey, to hell with it. Keep editing. Ooh, perfect. Let's 
Let's continue with the red foundation here now. Alright. We'll build a roof on top of that guy. Keep going. I'm not done yet. Let's make it chocolate. Mmm. Let's bring down the height. Ah, we'll raise it up one more. That'll be fine. Alright, let's get some windows on this thing. We got loads of windows. Let's go ahead and place them. Oh, that's not quite where I wanted to place that. Mm, keep editing. Stop canceling on me, darn it. Why? Why must you fight me, sir? Alright, pop those in. Let's go to the other side. Should be right about there. I can see through here. Uh, I think that's accurate. I'll double check on the other side. Might not be. No, that one's definitely way too far. This one looks good though. There should be five tiles between it. Eh. Uh, ooh, no. Yep, perfect. That one's that one's good. This one needs to be moved over one though. Window. Place window. Perfect. I hope. I think. Huh. Maybe this side I screwed up on. Yes, I did, somehow. I thought I double checked and these were the same distance, but apparently it's not. Ha! Oh, awkward. In that case. Well, the back one here is just going to look weird then. There we go. Oh well. Okay, let's see if we can get inside this thing now. Place some furniture down. I want to go for the fine comfy beds. We're sparing no expense for our lovely people. Now if only it would let me inside here. There we go. Okay, rotate. Give them at least decent amount of room. I guess I should have gone back one more tile. Would have given them more space in between here. Oh well. Each one of them gets their own window, you know. Just has enough room for one more bed, whereas that side is not. So yeah, I definitely... Definitely messed up on some of my measurements here somehow. Oh well. In that case, let's uh, let's ditch these two. Man, that door is gonna be in the way now, isn't it? Grumble, grumble. It's not perfect. How dare it not be perfect? Go like this. Then this will just be right there. I mean, we're gonna have six on one side and four on the other, but you know, whatever. <laughs> Tell with it. It'll just have to be good enough. Right, let's turn this back on and see about getting some signs here. Weaver sign. No, not really a fan either, though. So let's actually throw. I don't want to throw that there. I think it's a bit, a bit too large, actually. We'll put these ones down there, though. That looks good to me. Hmm. Good enough. Good enough.
I need some more wood logs and some fine comfy beds, but that's fine. Alright, resume. Oh, that's a problem. Another engine error. Go ahead and chop those up. Then again, uh oh. Goblin raiding party is approaching. The goblins are coming. Attack my minions! Bring them death! A traitor is approaching. Oh, crap! I didn't read what the hell he wanted. Well, he wants three large crates for a couple of wooden chairs. Alright, I guess. Might as well. Let's go ahead and get my carpenter working on that. Not like I couldn't whip that up pretty quickly. Ooh, level 3 footman. Very nice. Alright, let's go ahead and cancel that attack move order. You guys can go back home and chillax. Yeah, it looks like more than likely my workers are going to be too busy mining at the moment to actually rebuild all this. Which is fine, but yeah. Oh, nice. Got another one upgraded to level 3. So they'll actually be able to equip some uh, slightly better stuff now. Oh, we're just getting armed and dangerous here, aren't we? I really wish they would send their main force at me. Oh god, the Dragon Slayer! Bataz, the Dragon Slayer has come. And RV the Blatant. <laughs> Who else we got here? Ma the Awesome. Uh, Elsa Blood Painter. Zune the Flange. Uh, was it Kuru the Blatant? And of course, they're led by Chieftain uh, Ardry Bloodpaint, I'm guessing. That's my guess. Alright. Oh, stretch. Ow. Okay, how are we doing here? Well, they're definitely finding a lot of good materials for me. Let's hope my blacksmith is keeping up here. No, you're not. How dare you, blacksmith? Work harder. Need more iron. We can forge one steel ingot. Now we have, holy crap, do we have enough steel to drown in? get 33 of the silver. Very nice. It's like silver the next chain up or something. And then we got full plate mail which requires steel ingots. That's for... Oh no! A level 1? Oh! It requires a knight. Decorative scout gong. Inspired by the cobalt scout. Iron shield... I wonder what they need to upgrade to that. Let me actually check here. Let me borrow one of my warriors. If I want you to become a knight, what do I need? Level 3 and a knight shield crafted by the blacksmith. Iron shield. Steel plated shield. Ah, knight shield. Craft one of those babies up. I'll put it up in the queue though but before the silver, because otherwise it's gonna be taking a while. Alright. They're still storing away all that stuff, but hopefully they'll. I hope they'll get to work on these soon. We need more fine, comfy beds as well. Is it the tailor that makes it then? It doesn't look like my tailor, actually. Or no, my tailor, my... Carpenter actually makes those ones. Oh, 
Let's make six of those. Well, we'll make comfy beds. Maybe they'll become fine comfy beds. I don't know. Or those might be something I have to purchase. Oh. Alright. We'll see how that goes. You making all of your... You are. Good. You're finally making all that leather I asked you to make a while back. Fire quiver. Mmm. Tempting. I definitely want to get some archers in this military, finally. Blacksmith should be making this hopefully soon-ish. Let me actually speed up time here a bit. Yeah, he's got plenty of stuff to make, so we'll let him do his job there. And likewise, let me double check here and see what I need for the archer. Level 3 footman and a bow. Alright, we're going to upgrade one of those guys to the bow here. Or to being an archer. Don't I already have one, though? Apparently not. Well, I'll let him wait until that's over. Once all the beds are finished, then we can get to work on that. Looks like they've made it through most of the mining tasks I had asked them to do, so they should be done that soon. Might have a few more to do, but should be wrapped up here shortly, I hope. Let me actually slice this here. How are we doing for food? Don't really have any carrots. We did finally get some corn, thank god. So we'll have something for my chickens to eat at long last. Oh yeah, there it is too. Good, so we have enough for them. Uh-oh. Did I foolishly tell them not to grow wheat? I did too. God damn. Or not wheat, uh, carrots. So now we have nothing growing for the rabbits. Our poor little rabbits will have nothing to eat. Let's go ahead and create a... Another area here for some sheep. Might as well have, since we have the other two, might as well get some sheep while we're at it. We'll only have the two, but hey, that's all we need. Where are you going now? I can't click on him, he's too fast. I'm assuming he's gonna go get a sheep. And that's exactly what he was doing. Lovely! That was fast! Oh, of course, I'm not really sure on how quick, uh... We'll be able to get the feed, but hey. Alright. I gotta wait for them to finish all this stuff, damn it. So if anybody wants to collect all this stuff, please do. Anyone? Hello? Is anyone out there? Ah, <laughs> uh, they might get around to it eventually. We'll see what happens. Nice! Achieved Shepherd level one! More adept at getting the flock to walk a bit faster and increase in health. Now, if I let my warriors continue to level, let's take a look at you. If I let them continue to level, they will get much uh, better damage. Especially if they get to level 6, they get a 60% damage bonus. So at the very least, I almost want to get them to level 4 before I upgrade them. Because if I get them all up to level 6 and then, say, turn them into a knight and an archer, then the amount of damage they would do would be ridiculous. But I do also want to convert them soon-ish. Ooh, daily update. Come on, value. Nope. Still not enough. Still not enough. Ah, damn. One day. One day! Alright, how are we doing here? Oh. Crafting requirements are not met. That is a problem. Let me slide that up on, or on up there then. 
cough. Um, is anybody gonna start crafting at all? Anyone? Anyone gonna build my stuff? We have one builder though, that's the problem right now. Well, when you guys got nothing else to do, never mind. I can't enable building for you guys at all. Eh. I'm like, do I have anything interesting to sell to you? We'll sell one of those. All right, trader returns. Oh, he wanted this. He wanted the. I wasn't reading properly. He wanted the wooden chairs for three crates. I built him three crates for, for wooden chairs. Uh, now we're all having a nice conversation here in the middle of town for no reason. Let's go ahead and clear all these. Excellent. Let's see here. What do I need for the offering crate? Or donation to the Church of Plenty. So we need a roast mutton and the pollo pot pie. So we need carrots and we need just raw mutton. So, I'm sorry little sheep, but you're going to have to die. And so is one of the pollos. Sorry, buddy. Going to have to chop you up. Let's cook that up. Still won't be able to make the uh, roast... Was it roast pollo? No, it was the pollo pie. Until we have a single carrot, at least. So... That may be a few minutes. Is anyone going to take all this stuff out of the way? Anyone? Oh, hell. I have, like, no one that's going to do that job. Oh, shit. You may wish to run, sir. Or stand there. That works too, I guess. Get him! Ooh. Instantly took down a chunk of our health. And then we return with another... Well, pretty good hit to them, actually. Too bad I can't micromanage them. I'd pull them back right now and just let them wail on him. That's definitely hurting him a lot, so. Ah, oh, well, they'll, they'll get through, though. But they're right there going, they should win easily. It's a good smash. Must be one of their special attacks. Let's see here. Yeah, it's the power spike. Luckily, you don't seem to be fully armored yet, so that's going to speed you up a little bit. I uh, do hope these carrots uh, grow fast. But hey, they'll grow at whatever rate they want to grow, damn it. <laughs> um, oh, we don't have any logs. That's a problem. Let's alleviate that problem. Excellent. Yeah, for whatever reason. They don't want to do this. They don't want to complete this job. Uh, okay. I fixed it. That was a little weird. But okay, I fixed it. Apparently I just had to pause it and restart it. 
Now, if I've learned anything, it's that I do not want to build anything attached to this until it is 100% complete. However, let me double check here. So let me pause this before they get too crazy. Fine, comfy bed. Oh, shoot. Let's go with just comfy beds for some, then. I do not believe we have enough fine comfy beds, and I can't seem to construct it right now, so we'll go with that. Finish editing. Continue. Alright. We clear out of that. Now they should actually have everything they need and build it correctly. Good. Blacksmith can get back to work. We got enough logs now. Everyone's gathering by the warm fire here. What happened to my flag? Ah, oh, my cap standard. There we go. What is it? Use to mark territory. Civilizedly. <laughs> Apparently. Ah, It's like, if it's cared for, does that mean I can get more for murdering it? <laughs> no. Alright. What is this, anyway? Oh, wolf pelt. Apparently the wolves tried to prey on them. And failed! Alright. I'm making slow progress on this. But hey, any progress is good progress. Excellent. Something happened there. Weird. Not really sure what. So, when we finally, again, move all of this over here. I really wish I'd get rid of you. You drive me. You have no idea how insane this thing is driving me, but I can't get rid of it. Ah, frustrating. Oh well. Yay! Carrots! Let's build that thing immediately. Sorry, other chicken. You must die. And you too, little sheepy. The uncared for sheep, that is. There we go. It's like, we did not care for you so that we may slaughter you. For the glory of the Empire. Now I can build one of these. Yay! The net worth finally increased. I accept you, sir. Welcome. Ooh. Comfy beds. Got some red benches. No, I'm good. Hey. Was it Celine Framer has joined? I meant to check her stats. Pretty decent overall. Start off with a mining pick. Oh, another engineer. Lovely. Hopefully it's not a worse stopping building engineer. I'm definitely seeming to be uh, encountering a lot of those problems.
Okay, with that we should be getting close to the Valor of Sid. I think it's actually a Mason object. It is. Not the Valor of Sid. It's the Fountain of Plenty, actually. So I actually need to get a gold ingot. Which I think we have... Oh yeah, we have more than enough gold. I just need him to level up his skill and then we can... One more time. Level 5 blacksmith. Uh-oh. Attack! Charge, my minions! Bring death to our enemy! Power attacks! Excellent. Man, everyone's getting hungry now. Hurry up and finish this battle. You can go eat. Good job. Level 3 footman. I hope they're not eating that pie. So help me if they're eating that pie and I have to kill another one. Good. Doesn't look like they did. We've got some fried eggs. Or enough to make fried eggs. Ooh, actually, I can make this omelette if I had any raw meat. Uh, I don't think I can slaughter any of them. Well, I could potentially slaughter the rabbits, actually. Hold up. Cancel that. Slaughter one of those bunnies. That we may make a delicious omelette. Excellent. Savory meat stew as well. I should definitely make a large uh, patch for rabbits, it seems. Actually, I kind of want to make a large patch for all of them. Speed this up here so they can hurry up and get to that. I think they did, actually. Oh, now we're missing an egg. Because, of course, we are. Ah, well, let me order one of those to be crafted when it's available. Cornbread! No, we still haven't made any cornmeal. Actually, let me cancel that. Let's make two batches of that. And then order... Oh, no, I can't. Cancel that, then. I don't want to waste the egg. I want to make the omelette. We'll just have them make three of those. Beyond that, we should have plenty anyway. How are we doing here? Cheat Blacksmith level six. The Armory. Allows to create the finest weapons and armor seen since the Forgotten Phoenix Empire. Sweet. And hopefully that also includes gold. <laughs> Make me some gold! I can now make plate helmets, we can make silver helmets. I'll craft one of these up because we're definitely going to get somebody equipped with that at some point. And I'm going to want a lot of that. Silver mail. Silver helmet. Steel plated shield. Of course, it's still the Iron Shield. Which, honestly, I should really make more of if I can. But I really need more iron to hunt down more iron ingots. Yeah, there's definitely something really weird going on with the building creation engine at the moment. Like, it just is refusing to create stuff properly. So, this is probably a bug in this build, and there's not too much I can do to fix that. So, more than likely, I can't build any more houses. 
Or at least not any large houses. Because we tried, you know, I should have kept that other building in that case and just tried to build something else. Because now we're probably not going to have this building completed. We're probably not going to be able to remake my plaza. So I'm just going to make this... Fountain of Plenty here. We still order it to be made once we... I'm going to shift the gold up here a bit, though, so we can get that done. Wait, did I just shift it down? Oh, bollocks. Not paying attention to what I'm doing, clearly. Alright, so once that's made, then uh, we'll be good to go. And I can check for the quest for township. Okay, that should be... Nope, has done yet. Has not done it yet. Darn it! Hurry up! Hmm. Nope. That didn't do nothing. It worked the first time. It worked the first time, but now it's not happening now. So, it's incredibly buggy, it seems. Oh, well. It's alpha, it happens. But then again, this game has been in alpha for quite a while now at this point. Actually, I should probably check Steam here and uh, see how long this has actually been on. Because I know they were in development for a while before they were on Steam, and I want to see... When did they actually make 10 simple wooden chairs? You'll bring me 10 bolts of cloth. Sure. Chop her down, lads. That should give us everything we need. Okay, we have enough now. Yep, he is building it. I hope. I think he's building it. Nice! The net worth skyrocketed, apparently. Let's totally accept another uh, settler. So once he's done hammering away there, it is done! The Fountain of Plenty. We're just gonna slap that right in the center here. Just because I can. And then we'll complete our quest for a township. Nice! Level 6 farmer. Actually, I think you unlocked something for that. You did! Nature Surprise, not implemented. Oh, Disappoint! Disappoint. I, like, I would imagine, I could have imagined it, you know, spawning like a giant carrot or something. Or in the cornfields and you get a giant corn that produces like a lot of corn. Alright, let's check our quest for the township here. Check requirements. Net worth. So I need a net worth of 6,000 in order to work it or get it going with the Fountain of Plenty. That's unfortunate, but hey. We're working on it, we're working on it. Order it anyway. Okay, so we clearly need a lot more wood, apparently. Alright, let me place object. I should have sold those, I guess. There we go. That'll keep him busy for a while. 
Let's have them harvest this as well. At least they built the road. I guess that's a positive, you know? <laughs> At the very least, we got our road. Town info. Quite a bit of edibles. Our net worth is climbing. I tried to build a large building, it didn't work out. Suppose I could try building another one, but something tells me it's gonna come to the same issue. There we go. Now we'll have plenty of wood for everything we need. So I'm just gonna have to compensate by using a lot of items. Alright. Harvest. There we go. That'll be good. Well, actually, not enough. Let's continue with this one. Good. That'll be enough. And everyone's hungry again. Oh, well, at least we have enough to feed all the animals now. That's a good thing. We really need more chairs. I should just place them over here. Since we're not really going to be using these anytime soon now. That my park is destroyed. <laughs> so we'll just go like this. Damn. I was hoping to throw one of these in between it, but nope, it's not happening. Not happening, man. Let's try and accent this a bit here. There we go. Now, blacksmith, or not blacksmith, mason. Mason's what I'm looking for. We should speed things up here. Craft me four of those, please. Actually, you know what? Craft me another four after you're done with that one. It's not exactly going to be even, but hey. Level 3 Shepherd. That looks pretty decent. Move that slightly to the left. And of course the reason why I built... Four of them. Not four of them, eight of them. Hopefully this one will actually put in, be put in place. Well, 
Well, if I can ever produce the Valor of Sid, we might be able to remove that, or move that thing at least. What does the Valor of Sid require? So I need two Goblin Honor Tokens and the Varnish Skin. We did actually kill one of those things. So if we kill another one, we might be able to get that. Well, let's at least try to place this, though. I hope it does not fail. I think that should be right. Alright. Excellent. How's our town value? Net worth is five seven or yeah, five triple seven. Triple sevens! Woo! Alright. Very soon now. Very soon we're probably gonna launch an attack on these guys. And oh yes, I was looking up the uh, date that this game actually came out. Trainer approaches the town. I missed it. Oh well. Actually, it looks like it was last year. It was June of last year. So it's actually, this game has been on early access for over a year now at this point. Huh. Then again, I'm not exactly expecting miracles. A game just to pop out of nowhere in a... Sing, you know, in a single year, but still, it's a shame. I'd definitely like to see more get done on this, but hey, time will tell, as it were. Time will tell. I'm like, that looks totally weird and off center, doesn't it? Look too bad, actually. All right. The trader returns. I got ten bolts of cloth. And oh, there we go. Net worth is over six thousand. Check requirements. should qualify for township status now. Princess Harold or Princesses Harold returns. Congratulations, Mount Silva. Word has spread of your martial prowess. Town officially qualifies as a township. I have brought building materials and trade agreements, as is customary. Woohoo! Proclamation of township. Oh. You are hereby eligible for tier 2 building blueprints, tier 2 shops, and tier 2 BGM, whatever that is. Background music? I don't know. Let's check out these tier 2 houses. Holy! Oh my god, these things look beautiful! I must build them all! Accepted. Come. Join us! Join us, comrade! Ooh, I've totally got to build, like, all of these now. <laughs> so, I need, like, 50 diamond window frames, you know, 20 wooden lanterns, a whole bunch of tall wood. Like, I need a lot. A lot of resources. Then again, I'm still not sure whether or not they'll actually construct or the building itself. We'll build the tall townhouse here to start off with. So, let's get one diamond window, three tall frames, the door, and just wooden frames. Let's actually make ten of them. Three doors. Eight of those. And five of these. Because why not? Might as well give my carpenter something to do. Now, we also unlocked, it, unlocked some tier two crafting or something along those lines. Well, I'm not 100% sure what that entails, but hey. Let us convert somebody. So I only need a level 1 blacksmith in order to upgrade him to an uh, engineer. So I hope they'll level up quickly. Mm -hmm. 
Uh oh. It's the Antlings! Attack! Show no mercy to the little devils! I mean, I do- I know we chopped down half their forest, but come on, man. Come on, now. Oh, that thing showed up! The Varnus! The other thing we need for the statue. Now I wish you could get some tokens for uh, slaying, I'm assuming, this guy down here. So all in all, we're doing pretty good. Let's speed this up. They'll beat him, but it looks like the health is going to be quite low by the time they do it. Goblin sends a note. Good riddance. We'll be back. So it looks like they left. But they'll be back! We still have all these goblins here, though. I should send them out to fight them. But first, I want to make sure they are well armed enough to do it. Because that would also level them up enough to, uh. Well, it would at least level them to four so they'd gain some additional damage. It wouldn't get them up to six, though, where they'd actually be, able, you know, worth upgrading. But regardless, I think I'm probably going to upgrade uh, two of them next time anyway, just to do it. Just to say, hey, I got a knight and an archer, huzzah! And all that kind of stuff. However, I do want to get my engineer. Maybe a potter at some point. If I can, even. Let's see here. Interesting. I'm guessing I only have one mason right now. Pretty much, yes. And it is actually level 4 mason. From the realms of the functional into art. And then at level 6, 10,000 hours! Mason's mastery of his trade allows him to come up with completely new ways of using wood. Wouldn't it be stone? It's not a carpenter. He's not necessarily using wood. But okay. I actually would have thought they would have been a higher level than that considering the amount of stuff that I have built up around here for that. But I don't know. Maybe I need to surround my settlement with a wall or something just to give him some experience. You know what? Why the hell not? Or actually, let me upgrade. No. Let me build one more mason's tool here. I know you're busy, but build this. Because that way, if I get two masons working at it, they'll be able to produce a lot more stuff, and then I can upgrade the one without worrying about not being able to build other stuff anymore. And I should have two of everything, honestly, at some point anyway. At least until I have one of everything, I should have two of everything else. I swear, once you get to level one blacksmith, you're being transformed into an engineer. I really want to figure out what kind of contraptions and defensive weapons I can craft. Or actually, you know what? Let's find out. Let us find out right now exactly what we can get. Because I can do this. Change job. Not you then. Did we not craft the wrench? 
Probably not. I think we had some... We needed the steel or something. Let me put that up there then. We'll speed this up. I will transform them into the engineer. And then we will see what kind of stuff we can build here. Alright, Master Blacksmith. You're getting an upgrade! Nice! Alright, let's see what that unlocks. You have the Engineer's Tool Bench. Obviously makes all their various items. But before, So before I upgrade, I'm going to want to make sure to dig a lot and produce a lot of steel. Looks like. We also need bronze and iron gears. So we make a turnip shooter. <laughs> Shoots uh, turnips at enemies from a small distance. Must be repaired after 15 uses. Cool. We have a turret. After placed, shoots at enemies from a distance. Must be repaired after 20 uses. Really cool. We have defensive traps. Critter traps. Deals small amount of damage and shortly stuns enemies. The clamp trap. Damages enemies and shortly stuns enemies that step near it. And then we have a couple decorations. The engineers and the ironclad door. So, not too bad. I mean, it's definitely interesting that we'd unlock a few defensive weapons. I mean, especially the turrets look really cool. They seem to be automated. So, just build it and then forget it. So, we'll definitely build a couple of those around the place here for uh, preparation for next time. I might also, like, if I could, I would build a structure as well that was essentially a literal wall. Not just the basic crappy wall like this, but an actual, like, you can climb on top of it wall. Which would be fairly easy, but that completely depends on whether or not the game is actually going to build the damn thing. <laughs> to be completely honest. But yeah. Maybe I should build, like, a little tower right here and then throw... Yeah, I could do that. Hmm. There's an idea. Yeah, I might have to do that. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. Definitely have yourselves a great one, and I will see you all next time with some more Stone Earth. Peace out till then.